Hi everyone, it's Justin Dawson back with another product review. This one has been on my desk for some time because I've been testing, testing, testing this for several months now with different cameras. This is the Atomos Zato Connect that does live streaming and it's a monitor and it's all in one. And here's a full product review on it. Well, I've been testing the Atomos Zato Connect for some months now. Um, it all happened after I got my hands on the PTZ Optics Studio Pro from PTZ Optics. And Paul Richards mentioned to me, you know, you can get a really cool monitor that does live streaming like this, the Atomos Zato Connect. And it is a monitor, it's touchscreen, and also you can stream to social media outlets and also to YouTube Live. When I heard about this, I was like, I need to get my hands on one of these. And thanks to Atomos, they sent me over one to review. You may remember I did a product review on the PTZ Optics Studio Pro, and I'm putting the link at the bottom of the screen here if you are watching the video. Uh, so you can review that after this product review video. But first, to what this is, actual Atomos Zato Connect can do. The Zato Connect has been designed to act as a compact, easy to use gateway to Atomos Cloud Studio. Now, Cloud Studio allows you the ability to, if you're using a camera with a Zato unit, it can take all the files, it can be uploading them into the cloud. So when you get back to your studio environment, you can edit, fantastic feature. The device supports nearly all HDMI and USB UVC sources to live stream to Facebook Live, Twitch, YouTube and other social sites or can be used as a webcam source for Microsoft Teams, Slack, Zoom and other conferencing software. Live streaming and high quality conferencing is made easy and accessible with Zato Connect with support for HDMI and USB UVC cameras or video sources. The device is equipped with Wi-Fi 5 gigabit internet or with, via USB-C and the ability to join cellular hotspots. Everyone can stream to Facebook Live, Twitch and YouTube or create high quality video for Microsoft Teams, Slack, Zoom and zoom from anywhere. So let's take a look at the back of this. You see you have the USB 1, USB 2, uh, your USB PD, uh, HMI in and HMI out. Now I had to buy the actual battery separately. You can power it over the USB PD, but what I did was I bought some camera batteries from Zato as well. Uh, these things then, when you have this powered on and you're using the USB-C to a camera, you will be able to power the camera as well uh, or also be charging the battery. I'll get to that in a short while. On the top of them, you have two little buttons there. Those screw, screw off and you can actually put in the Wi-Fi antennas as well. On the side, you have a microphone input, a headphones, and if you wanted to use remote, and you can also record to an SD card. While incredibly compact, the Zato Connect lives to its name, featuring input and output for both HDMI and USB UVC. The device can transform the output from a wide array of video equipment into a live stream or webcam source. The 3.5 millimeter audio jack can be used to add microphone or line sources, and the Zato Connect can be used to mix them with the embedded audio uh, from HDMI or USB UVC. You can go live or as live. Each live stream can be recorded as local H264 back up to an SD card with the ability to combine recorder sources with live content. It is possible to take one of these recordings and stream content as live with Zato Connect. This opens lots of creative opportunities and adds value to any stream or video presentation. The Atomos Zato Connect also has software built in to act as a video mixer with your mic line, HDMI, USB, and your full output mix. Each channel can be adjusted independently and mixed down to a single stereo track for live stream recording or video presentation. The Zato Connect is really the gateway to the Atomos Cloud Studio. Fitting its description well, the Zato blends affordably with a more than basic feature set that will be just enough for most content creators looking to expand seriously into streaming. It is a great 5-inch, 1,000-nit display at an affordable price 
Switching between sources is also possible. It has multiple USB-C ports, a simplified Atomos OS Lite interface, and can add graphic overlays and watermarking. You do need, though, the physical Ethernet uh, adapter they, that plugs into USB-C if you want to have faster internet speeds. The Zato is unique that it has two USB-C ports, so you can input a USB UVC video source, think of like a webcam, and connect the computer to use the Zato feed as a webcam source for popular video conferencing apps. Plus it has the usual HDMI 1.4 input and output. Keep in mind that this device is meant for full HD resolution. At first I got my hands on this to test it with the PTZ Optics Studio Pro. And every time I was testing it, I was having difficulties and that's why it has taken so long for this product review video to be released. I have been in touch with the developer team of both PTZ Optics and also with Zato to try and figure out what exactly was going wrong. My first recording sounded a bit like this. Here we go again. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is directly into the Zato. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Audio mix. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is with the PTZ Optics uh, Studio Pro with the HDMI going in to the Zato Connect and trying to record onto an SD card. It is a good SD card um, of uh, professional quality, um, a good HDMI cable. I tried several different HDMI cables and I was getting this chipmunk feeling. And all in other recordings, I was also losing audio even when I was recording locally, I couldn't figure this out. I went back to the developers of PTZ Optics and also to Zato, who, and of course, and also to some friends who had the same equipment and were able to replicate the same problem. We okay, one last test of the noise. Here we go. go. This is Justin Lawson, and hopefully he's streaming in, in at 1060. streaming in at 1080p60. Stream out at 1080p60 to the, the SD card when I unpair it with, with the Atom and just pour everything into the actual uh, SD card. So we couldn't figure out what was going wrong until I went into the settings of the PTZ Optics Studio Pro uh, by IP address and went into the configuration and I turned off some audio features. Then I plugged in a Rode Wireless Go mic uh, via the 3.5mm jack and was able to get this type of quality. Okay, so this is me trying out the Atomos Zato Connect with the Rode Wireless Pro microphones. This is me using USB uh, 3.0, uh, streaming at 1080p 30, output at 1080p 30. I have mic leveled in, and uh, hopefully, after turning off the actual, turning off the actual audio uh, interference on audio on a menu on the actual um etz optics let's hope that this is coming out nice and clear so this is once more this is a test of the um ptz optics with the atomos zato connect with the rode microphone going into the zato connect it took me a long time to figure that out i also then tried different cameras like the nikon 5100 so, to test out different cameras with the Atomos Zato Connect, I am using the Nikon D5100, an old SLR camera that I have. Now, this is streaming at 720p. That's the most that the Nikon D5100 can do. And um, I have also the Rode wireless mic plugged into the Zato, and I'm going out with micro HDMI into HDMI on the actual Zato Connect. So hopefully we can test out all audio differences uh, with this. I did try and plug in a microphone into the Nikon directly, but I don't think we're getting any audio out of the Nikon.
camera when we're going HDMI that way. So that is the Zeisho Connect plugged in to the Nikon D5100. I was able to live stream and I was able to record onto SD card with the Nikon. The only problem was because it's an old Nikon 5100, the quality was coming out at 720p. Finally, I got my hands on this absolute beast of a camera. This is the Sony ZV-1 Series 2 camera. They cost nearly a thousand euro when you put the insurance and warranty on it. I got insurance and warranty for two years. When I plug this in, USB-C into the Zato Connect, um, the Sony cam automatically says, oh, you want to live stream? You touch the screen on the back of it. It was live streaming to YouTube. Here is the results. Hello, everyone. Are we live? We are live. Hello, everyone. It's Justin Dawson testing out the Zato Connect with the Sony ZV-1M2. Um, yes, it's coming through. Um, I really wanted to test this. This is a USB-C to USB-C with the Zato Connect and uh, I'm using the Sony, new Sony ZV-1M2 that's not easy to say um, not wearing any microphone this is the internal microphones that's going on with the ZV-2 ZV-1M2 ZV-1M2 uh, with Sony a uh, camera that I'm just after purchasing in the past couple of weeks and uh, wanted to find out would the Zato Connect work with it. So it is powering and charging the uh, Sony camera uh, with my the little battery that's with the Zato Connect and uh, connected to the Wi-Fi and streaming on Zoom. Not Zoom, on YouTube. I'm streaming on YouTube. I'm not very good at doing this live. <laughs> right, so... This is me trying to find out what it is, what is the quality like um, on the stream. I'm looking at the computer screen here to see um, the delay, but not too bad. Uh, so as you can see, viewers, I have been testing this rigorously. I do love the Zato Connect. I love the fact that it has a connection on the top and on the bottom. So if you want to have your screen sideways, even though it, it is in landscape mode all the time, but if you wanted to have a sideways on a camera rig, you could do so. You could put it on the top or on the bottom and you can have connections there. Uh, SD card for recording is super, so you could have a secondary recording. Now I did notice with the Sony ZV-1 camera, because it goes into live stream mode, it acts as a webcam for better word. So when I try to even record on the SD card with the Sony cam or on the Zato Connect, it doesn't allow me to record while I'm live streaming. However, with YouTube, where I usually stream, live stream to, you can take the recordings off YouTube afterwards. And it was in full 1080p. So uh, that was a benefit. It's lightweight. The only thing that's as heavy is the camera battery on the back, the L uh, series camera battery, but nice, powerful unit. Uh, the and it comes in lovely, a lovely boxed, wet, very well boxed up. The only thing that I wish that Zato did give with the Zato Connect is one of these batteries as well. Uh, that's that comes as a separate accessory that you have to buy, um, but you can power it over USB C. The cloud feature is brilliant, and um, you can you can get a basic free version uh, account or as a trial, or you can build up if you're doing a lot of video editing. Personally, for me, I don't need it. I actually record onto SD card and bring it off onto Final Cut Pro later after I I record something. The little they give you a little coloured. Um, flags that you can put on the antennas of the actual Zato Connect uh, wireless antennas. Um, a bit finicky to change over. You need to get a toothpick or a little tweezers to, to put these on. Uh, good idea if you're using a lot of different Zato Connects, if you're out in a studio recording it, or if you're out in an outdoor broadcast environment trying to record and identify uh, Zato Connects one against the other. I do like the fact that it comes with a pouch that you can protect it. Um, would be great if Zato Connect created a hard case for, for the actual uh, product and you know maybe something to review in the future. Really enjoyed testing this product and thank you to Atomos for sending it over to me. Um, 
I will be using this on the trade show floors when I go off and do outside broadcasts for the ability that it has to allow me to also live stream events simply through Wi-Fi 5 and the two wireless antennas that I can plug in as well. Um, a great screen that I can point towards myself that I can see. I can do additional overlays in the future and uh, then stream to YouTube Live as, as my little test has displayed. For more information on the Atomos range and the Zeta range and the Shogun range, visit the website at the bottom of the screen now. This has been another product review by myself, Justin Dawson. Visit my website, www.justinordawson.com, where you'll see all my other product reviews. And I hope to do another one very soon. Goodbye.